A very pleasant good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am at Evelyn Cheapy Cheapy on 8th Street. I want to big up my brethren, Fire Carl, at the same time. Today I'm here with Kamar. Kamar is the young man who, about two weeks ago, risked his life to save the JPS worker that eventually died. Now, you know the reason why I'm here, ladies and gentlemen, is because of his act of bravery. The act of doing for others without even thinking about the consequences for yourself. Living for the sake of others. So I must congratulate you, Kamar. Big up enough time. I would not have done what you have done in those circumstances because I'm afraid of electricity. But for you to spring into action and to run up that pole as if your life depends on it, tells me that you're a great human being and the government of Jamaica should do something about your act of bravery. How are you today, Kamara? Yeah, good still alright, huh? What were you doing on that day when the incident happened? Take us back. You're gonna tell me that I'm house and you are low next to each other. Low! Yeah. I run out of my house. I want the house to come down and look. So I'm van. Let me see the van and yeah, look. Then you have to see the better open light post. You start mm. to close at your light post. Go closer to the light post and look up now and see the man in Engdom. Sure, top of my face. Bone and throw like gear out and say top of my face. Then I mean, I look for him. You see, then they start battering. See, and after that, you stop. And then I see, I look for him. And after that, I mean, I look for him. Look for him, I see my moves, see him, he come out and bone down things and tell him, brother, say, yo, you're ready. I'm not dead, man, still up there, man. I'm going to take them in my hand. See, I'm driving me and my next to them. I'm going to drive the leather out of the house. I'm going to put it up on the ground. Put the double leather on the ground. I'm going to feel like the leather is short. Yes. The leather is short. Now, I'm going to reverse the van. Move back the leather from the house. Reverse back. Put the van, leather in the van. So, two hours of the leather, you know. So, I'm going to tell them to put the van in the bridge, you know. You see it. And but he now he now make no move like him on. Yeah, but it's there. like him panic at the panic. time. Yes, you yes. see, the two real talk if they go there, him attempt to go for the leather and by ten minutes I'll see for the leather and go and come back and say, Yeah, I don't know, I can't help you. Wow. Wow. Water pollution. So now I'm going for the leather. Go for the leather. Yeah, they got two shots. Again? Again, they got two shots in the van. The van. Come back off of the leather. I'm going to go for a box and go up and find it and climb up on me. Come back to find it and climb up on me. The, the light, the street light, something. Mm-hmm. Show the, the car, the whole time. You see, I hold the ladder. You guys stop and you guys come and come to the lamp on the road. Keep on night. Put him in, put him in, put him in, put him in, put him in. I cut him in our time, but we can see and put him in the back. You see, so we cut him first, we cut him in. We cut him over and shot a little. You see, so we know about the leather. We need the fire now. We stand up on the foot and we carry the leather over the next side. So, you know, we want to help for him. We need a steel tool shot with them at the back. We have to tell them again, we reverse back. We have to chop. And put the leather on it. Cut him down. Ladies and gentlemen, the ironic thing about this act of bravery, the effort that he put in, along with some other folks, Sonny and so on, big up yourself, Sonny, did not materialize because. The gentleman died a few days later. But we just want to show Jamaica that even though we're in Mexico, in concrete jungle, in Arnett Garden, in Jonestown, and a lot of people might say negative things about young youths like, come on, we want to show the world that positivity still lies here in Mexico. And you're a shining example of that positivity that exists. So please, I know a lot of people might say negative things about the inner city communities when there are shots being fired and so on. 
But we also want you to know that 95% of the people that live in these inner city community are law-abiding, decent people. Mm -hmm. All of the youngsters you see, just like Kamar, not all of them are strapping a M16 or an AK-47 or even a handgun. These are hard-working people that still have love in their heart. The reason why I came over here today is because I want to reach out to anyone who can assist Kamar with an act of kindness. He's not here begging for anything. But I think that this action should be so propelled right around the world, especially in Jamaica at this particular time, when we have lost over 208 people since the beginning of this year. Kemal, I love you, my son. You have a contact number that we can find you if people want to talk to you and probably send you a gift. No, no, contact number. 876-334-7886. Ladies and gentlemen, you have the number of Kemal. I'm also appealing to the Prime Minister, Andrew Onis, to look upon this young man and to see that his act of bravery, his act of being selfless, we need you to commend him and to make sure he gets the order of bravery. Come on, you're a remarkable young man. You're an example to me, man, as an old man, and I'm sure you're an example to people all over the world. I am going to make my contribution to you at a later day. And I want to thank you so much for thinking out of yourself, for thinking and living for the sake of others. As a matter of fact, I am going to recommend to the Universal Peace Federation to come right here and award you as Ambassador for Peace because you're living for the sake of others. Anybody who you want to big up before we go? He's an hero. He is Mexico hero. A big stone and fire car from Cheapy Cheapy 8th Street, Seda Rastafari. Rastafari.